StadiumDB.com presents Top Future Serbian Stadiums Hi there, today we'd like to take you on a trip to the Balkans. Serbia has launched a major stadium offensive, with venues meeting UEFA Category 4 criteria. Over the past two decades, numerous plans were presented, but they either ended on paper or were only partially delivered. Before we dive in, you can support us by subscribing to our channel. Also, hit that thumbs up button and ring the bell to never miss another premiere. We've ranked the planned Serbian stadiums from least exciting to most exciting in our view. Got a comment on our selection? Be sure to write it below the video. 8th place, Gradsti Stadion, Subotica. Capacity, 8,802. Built in 1936, the current stadium is very dated but has seen recent renovations. In 2017, four floodlight masts were built, while in 2018 a fresh playing field and running track were added. Now, the goal is creating modern stands around the ensemble, with existing floodlights incorporated into the new bowl. Simple, angular and undulated roof will become the signature feature, while facilities will also allow international athletics events to be held here. 7th place for Balski Stadium, Kraljevo Capacity 8057 Like most Serbian projects, this new stadium is expected to rise on a site already used for football at the old Magnohrom Sports Center. Despite being fairly small, it will have stands divided into two separate tiers. Fans will enter the stadium through a large, elevated platform. From there, the lower tier will be accessible with no additional stairs. Because most fans will come from the south, Significant leisure functions are planned there, including a bowling alley, martial arts rooms and fast food restaurants. 6th place, Gradsti Stadium Lagator Loznica. Capacity, up to 8,500. Very much like the proposed stadium in Kraljevo, this one will have stands split into two tiers. It will also have facades made of horizontal blinds. Significant difference between the two is their scale. Loznica's new Lagator Stadium should be visually larger thanks to its roof reaching 16 meters and floodlight pylons also being taller. With the ground already demolished and construction work launched, the first game here should be played as soon as 2023. Fifth place, Gradsky Stadium, Leskovac. Capacity, 8,136. Known commonly as Stadium Dubishitsa, the municipal stadium is already under construction following demolition of the old structure in March of 2021. With its distinctive gold mesh facade and decorative floodlight masts, it will be one of the most recognizable stadiums in Serbia. Structurally, its plan is very simple and extremely compact, allowing for additional uses around it. Fourth place, Gradsky Stadium, Vranje. Capacity, 8,200. If it seems a tad too similar to the stadium in Leskovac, that's because they're based on the same structural frame and design principles. We simply find its aesthetics more appealing than its twin, of course, if it ends up looking as good in reality. The new stadium in Vranje will also be just big enough to meet UEFA Category 4 criteria. Third place, Stadium Kraljevica Zaychar. Capacity 8186. Already under construction on the site of its former hippodrome, the new home of FK Timok will come along with eight training pitches. It's being built beside the old ground, which will, in turn, be transformed into an athletic stadium. While the very sleek white form stands out among Serbian stadiums, just one look at the floodlights and you know it's designed by the same company as the new projects in Vranje and Leskovac. This stadium makes the most of Serbia's challenging topography as its floor spaces are distributed depending on land height. Second place, Stadium Chikadacha, Kruguyevac. Capacity, 19,660. The latest confirmed project is also expected to become the third or fourth largest stadium in Serbia, possibly the best outside Belgrade. And we can agree, seeing its bold, rhythmic architecture. It won't be built exactly where the old venue is, rather moved and rotated slightly to match the north-south axis. Its double-tiered stands will hold almost 20,000 fans, which should make it a stadium considered also for national team games, not just the home of FK Radnički. First place, Nazioni Stadium, Serchin. Capacity, 55,000. 
Planned just west of Belgrade, the new national stadium is the biggest promise of President Aleksandar Vucic. Because Serbia has seen many visions over the years, some remain skeptical if it can be delivered. The press immediately called it Serbian Wembley after presentation last year and the president has reaffirmed the public in recent months that he expects construction to start this year. The 55,000-seater should be built along with a new highway near the capital, and its architecture should match the remote, rural area where it's planned. Not only wood, but also live trees are expected to be dominant within its facades, not unlike the Tokyo National Stadium. For now, the 250 million euro project is only a concept, but let's hope for once the dream will come true. And that's the end of our list. Serbia is a very interesting country to watch in terms of new stadiums and there will be more plans coming. Be sure to visit StadiumDB.com for future updates. Did any of these proposals win you over? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.